Hello, my darlings. It's good to see you. I've been away for a little bit, but it's good to come back. I wanted to supplement my last video, because when I watch it, I really feel like these are the insane ramblings of a crazy person. And, you know, sometimes I really feel like a crazy person. Uh, it's funny because, you know, gender dysphoria is, is part of the DSM, which means that it's medically considered a, a mental disorder. And I have mixed feelings about that because I don't feel like being stuck in the wrong body makes a person crazy. But, you know, there have been times in the last couple of years throughout my transition where I have been so upset or so distressed that I really felt like I was going a little crazy. And, you know, sometimes I still do. Sometimes I try to step back out of myself and look in and say, what, what the hell is going on? You know, I'm losing my grip on reality. Um... So, I've been under a lot of stress, and uh, it's been piling up. I've had stresses about my transition, um, and my next steps involving surgery, and who knows what. I've had stresses about finding a partner, or inability to find a partner. Um, I've had stresses about living in Denmark. I've had stresses about my job. Um, I've had stresses about being away from from my home country. And these these uh these stresses have really piled up on me. Um, you know, also going along with the sort of hormone balance troubles I've had. Here's what's happened. Uh, a couple few weeks ago, I found out that my testosterone was way too low, so I cut down on my spiro and let I've been letting my testosterone levels grow again. Um, my testosterone was so low that it was making me feel really sick and getting uh, lethargic and, and out of energy. So getting more testosterone in my body was an attempt to fix those physical ailments. And what happened was I feel like as more and more testosterone built up in my body, um, I started feeling some really intense anger um, and some really intense distaste for the living, <laughs> as crazy as that sounds. Um, and uh, it's almost seemed like the things that have been bothering me I haven't been able to kind of get a, get a grip on. so. I've been going into a very dark place lately, uh, and it's a place that I've never really gone before, and it's been a little bit scary, but I'm, I'm bouncing back, and I just want to talk about it. Now, I am a Libra, so the sign of the Libra is the scales. And that very much fits in with my personality, if you ask anyone that really knows me well. I am always trying to balance things. I am trying to balance out opinions. I am trying to balance out conflicts. I am trying to balance out male and female inside myself. I am trying to balance out being um, physically kind to myself versus being emotionally kind to myself. Uh, I'm trying to balance out my long-term monetary goals with my short-term needs to go shopping. And <clears throat> I feel like lately I've been trying to balance good and evil. There was one day a couple of weeks ago when I was so angry I was coming home. And again, this is while my spiro doses were low, so my testosterone levels have been higher. Coming home feeling like I hated the world, like honestly hated it, and walking down the street I looked at a building, an apartment building, and looking at it thinking, 
There are so many people in there with their families and their pets and they're just living their lives and wouldn't it wouldn't it feel great to just set that building on fire and everyone in there would die and their their children and their pets would die that they, they would all burn to death and walking away thinking about this I really liked it and that's the part that scares me a little bit so I mean I'm not about to go set fire to anything I shouldn't have to say that it is not who I am but I did have these thoughts and shortly after that my my mental patterns started going through a cycle of suicidal thoughts of bloodletting and feeling pleasure in the piercing of my skin. I didn't pierce my skin. I didn't let any blood. I just thought about this stuff. And all of it just seemed so nice. Um, so... I've been going to this very dark place with my thoughts, and I've never had these kinds of experiences before of, of feeling these things, and definitely I've never reacted positively to these kinds of situations, but you know, riding the bus, listening to my Fight Club soundtrack, and listening to Tyler Durden rant on this is your life. It doesn't get any better than this. This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. And from where you are now, you have no idea what the bottom will be like. And hitting the bottom is not a weekend retreat. And you open the door and you step inside. We're inside our hearts. And imagine your pain as a, as a white ball of healing light. Yes, your pain as a white ball of healing light. I don't think so. Um, and so, you know, along with these sort of feelings of satisfaction about pondering destruction of myself and of others, it's been really concerning to me. And it's come along with yeah, along with it has come a lot of depression, a lot of feeling bad, a lot of feeling lethargic, a lot of, like, this has not been the kind of darkness where I want to wear a lot of black makeup. It's been the kind of darkness where I don't want to wear any makeup, and I don't want to get out of bed. And that's been really very difficult to deal with, and I haven't quite been sure what to do about it. So luckily I've had a couple of good friends come into town this last week and I was able to open up to them about it. I was able to open up to my ex-fiancé about it. I was able to open up to my parents about it. And they all came across extremely concerned. Um, and from that moment on they started just giving me a lot of support. Um, trying to remind me the good things that are going on here in my life. And... Um, you know, figuring out that, hey, maybe my dosages are wrong, maybe I shouldn't be feeling this angry, and maybe I should do something about that. So, today was the first day that I've really felt great in a long time, and I feel like I'm getting a grip on my levels again for my hormones, my prescriptions, I'm getting a grip on the future, I'm getting a grip on the current state of my life, and, like, these, these chants that Tyler Durden, you know, were ringing, that were ringing in my brain so much, they're fading away. And, uh, you know, these thoughts about cutting myself and, and letting my wrists bleed out while sitting inside of a bathtub, they're fading away. And um, I feel engaged with life, and it feels so good. But I also feel like, now that I've incorporated this intensely dark side into myself, it'll always be a part of me. 
and even though I don't really necessarily want to go there, I'm, I'm not as afraid. I'm just not as afraid. It's like, I'm number. No, it's like the opposite of being numb. It's like, I'm more aware. So, I have to wrap this up, but I just want to put a call out there for people that have really felt like they're in despair. Like, like I have. And did. You need to talk to somebody about it. Because if you don't, something really awful might happen. And I don't think anybody in your world wants that. Including you. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.